guys, it's Riley, also known as Riles Thrifted over on Instagram and Poshmark. So over this past weekend, I spent $350 thrifting. Not my best move, but it was a lot of fun to do so. So I thought I would do a thrift haul and show you guys what I got. It's going to be listed on Poshmark. Who knows when, because I have a very large death pile. But I guess we'll just start with some shoes and accessories. First up, I got these... JGL flats and JGL is not a brand I would normally pick up but these are a bigger size they're in pretty good condition just metallic pointed toe flat and they I don't know I think they'll do well all right um, next up I got these fit flops which aren't normal fit flops they're like fit flop sneakers I usually sell these uh, not the sneakers just fit flops in general the brand I usually sell in the 20 to 30 dollar range. These ones have definitely have some signs of wear, but I don't know, I thought they were interesting. All right, then I have a pair of shoes my mom actually gave me to sell. So, they're the Kohlhan Zero Grand shoes, which I have come across before in the thrift store, but they also they always have them priced at like $20, which I just don't think it's worth it. But I'll give these ones a try. They're the suede ones. Alright. Next up, I thrifted these Sam Edelman circus boots. Here's the logo. Um, my thrift store usually wants a lot for Sam Edelman now, which is a bummer because they love selling Sam Edelman shoes. But these weren't marked up, so I got them. They'll probably do better in the fall, but I'll get them listed. Next, I picked up these, I don't know how to say this, hookah? Hookah hiking shoes, which I have a pair of hiking boots listed in my posh closet right now, and these ones have definitely been worn, but I think I should still be able to get around $30 for them. Okay, let's see. These are not laced up. Um, okay, these are... Ziggy Soho. Uh, can you see that? Um, I have picked up this brand before. I know it sold at Last Chance, so that sold at Nordstrom then. And I just figured they're a cute style. Eh, they'll probably do okay. I'd say again, like $28 to $34. Alright, next I picked up some belts. Uh, I look for in belts, uh, usually like a boho style or genuine leather so I found this one it's like floral embossed and it is genuine leather I don't know the brand I looked up all these belts I looked up the brands but nothing really came up so I'm just guessing they're just vintage brands hopefully uh, for these belts I'm hoping for like $24 give or take five actually probably take five all right next up was this pretty cool vintage one uh, there's definitely some wear on it, as you can see here. Some stitching's coming undone. But I figured the style... Oh, there's some stitching coming undone there, too. But it's vintage. It's cool. I liked the hardware. And I think it'll do okay, even with the wear. The last belt I got is this white leather braided belt. Um, again, a vintage one. Genuine leather. I don't know. Hopefully it'll do okay. Next up, we have the clothes. I'm gonna start. I go thrifting with my sister a lot, and so she actually found this. She thought it was a fake at first because of the quality, like the quality is just not there, which is surprising for this brand. But it's Lily Pulitzer, and it's it's authentic. I checked, but it's a zebra print dress. I don't love picking up Lily Pulitzer. Some pieces do really well, but I've had a few pieces sitting in my closet for at least one over a year that I just can't sell. So we'll see how this one does. Next up are these blank NYC jeans. Uh, they're sold at Nordstrom and they're just distressed, light wash. 
$30 maybe. Next up is this Urban Outfitters top that I actually picked up for myself. This is the newer Urban Outfitters tag. They used to do sub brands, but the last few times I've been in there, they've just been having this Urban Outfitters tag. And so this is a newer piece. Uh, I picked it up for myself, but it's an extra small. I don't know who I was kidding. It did not fit. So it will be in my posh closet. This was a really good find. I've only found this brand one other time, and both times the size tag has been cut out, so I don't know what's up with that. Veronica Beard. It's a designer. The skirt retailed for almost $400. It's got the little buttons down the front. I'm excited to list it. All right, next up are these Pilcrow and the Letterpress camo pants. And I was pretty excited to find these because uh, I think camo's doing pretty well right now. And also my Goodwill has been pricing up anthropology brands and these were not priced up, which I was pretty relieved about. Okay, then I picked up these XCVI pants. I've heard their pants do pretty well. I have a few items from this brand unlisted, so we'll see. Is this a leg and look brand? I'll look it up. Next up is this Garnet Hill dress. New with tags. It's pretty basic, but hopefully it does well. My sister actually found this one. Okay, then I got this Onzi or Onesie. I say Onzi. Um, athletic shirt. Here's what the tag looks like. It is new with tags. Uh, it's sold at Nordstrom. It's an athletic brand. Oh, that's the back. I think they're, I've never sold their shirts. Their leggings do okay, depending on the print. Um, then I got this. ASOS jumpsuit, which will be a little hard to show, and it is new with tags, so that's exciting. Honestly, probably won't be the easiest item to photograph. Hopefully I can find a stock photo. Okay, then one of my favorite brands to sell, it usually sells pretty quickly, and I saw it between like 28 to 32 dollars and it is Lulu's and this one is also new with tags this is a pretty basic dress but I think it'll still do well they're um printed ones and embroidered ones do well for me as well I definitely recommend recommend picking up Lulu's if you don't right now okay lastly is this black turtleneck I was thinking about keeping it for myself, but I'm looking for like a black ribbed turtleneck. And this is by Rag and Bone Jeans. Alright, so I like to add kids items to my posh closet and I don't have a separate closet for kids because sometimes I get like moms bundling kids clothes and um, adult clothes together. So here I pick up only a few brands. I pick up Hannah Anderson, which is what these are. Just some lemon print PJ pants. These will probably sell for like $13. And I also like to pick up Manny Bowden, sometimes crew cuts, crew cuts. It really depends on the pieces. Okay, then I got this Columbia Windbreaker. Columbia's not a brand I pick up often, but I really liked this piece. I thought it would do well for summer. Alright, next up is this cabbie piece, and cabbie does decent. I don't know how this piece is going to do in the summer. We'll find out. Okay, then I got these DL1961 green pants. My sister grabbed this green Bowden dress for me. I've heard some people say that they haven't been picking up Bowdoin anymore because it's not doing too great for them, but I still sell Bowdoin dresses anywhere from like $28 to like $38. I pick up the tops too. They have a lot of nice new pieces. I have a summer like embroidered piece in my closet right now. Okay. I picked up these just black jeans mostly because they were half off. 
but they're a good style. They're just gray and distressed, and I think they sell just black in Stitch Fix. But I'll have to check before I list them. I have sold these before, and they do sell, like, they have sold pretty well for me in the past. Next up is this Zara. Probably know what Zara tags look like. I picked this up because of the embroidery. It's pretty cute. Zara does okay for me. It usually sells like 20 to 20. Well, actually, that's not true. Really, it depends on the piece that you're picking up. It can sell anywhere from like 20 to 50 dollars for me. I've sold I, like the blogger pieces are great. All right. Next is this Mason Scott shirt, which to me looks like a pajama shirt. I have some Mason Scotch listed and it retails pretty high, but I haven't actually sold any. So I guess I should stop picking it up until I sell some. But this piece was half off, so. Next up is another XC. Next up is this XCVI jacket. Again, I haven't actually sold anything from this brand. I just have a few pieces I need to list, but I've heard it does well, so. I've heard it does well, so I'm gonna try it out. Okay, I have this Wilfred sold at Aritzia chambray top. This, uh, I paid up for, oh crap. Looks like this came off of somewhere. Oh, it did. I think I even put it back on. Honestly, it's, uh, no, I think it's missing a piece. It just broke. So, Oh, it's flawed. Oh well. Okay, so I think I paid up a little too much for this, but it's a new with tags, Adriana Goldschmied denim jacket. I figured someone would be wearing this this summer. We'll see. Okay, also I think I paid too much for this. Just because, okay, so it's Brandy Melville dress, which Brandy Melville sells very well, but it doesn't sell for a whole lot. I think this dress will be like, mm, I think I can get like 24 to $20 for it. I think it's really cute though. And it, Brandy Melville is a brand I'd recommend picking up, just I paid $6 for this and I don't think it was worth it. I was kind of like, I was there, I was closing and I was like, all right, let's go check out. Okay, next up is this vintage Coca-Cola sweater. Um, I don't think it will sell for a whole lot. Maybe again, $20, $25. But it was cool. Next up is this Altered State flowy tank. And I like selling Altered State. It doesn't sell for a whole lot. But this piece is new with tags for 60 bucks. So, If you've ever been into an Altered State store, to me it seems like a cheaper version of Anthropology targeted towards juniors. All right, next I have this Mod Cloth dress. Mod Cloth has, uh, they're kind of like Urban Outfitters. They'll have, in, not really Anthropology, they're like Urban Outfitters well. They'll have like Mod Cloth labels, but they also sell other brands. And this dress is super cute, but I was rushing when I got there and when I got home I realized there's a stain on the skirt and also some staining on the crochet part. I have it listed pretty low in my past closet. But flawed items still sell, so we'll see. If not, it will just get redonated. Okay, next up is this Joua top. I know I have left some Joua behind recently, 
but I don't know why I really picked this one up. But it does have some interest. It's already listed in my Posh Closet. It's 100% silk. And it's tanked out for summer. We'll see. Next up is another Wilfred piece. It looks like this dress. I don't remember what it's called, but it's like one of their basic dresses that they sell often in different prints. I have it listed maybe like $42 in my Posh Closet. And then I have this Talbot's dress. And Talbot's again isn't normally a brand I would pick up, but it's XL, it's new with tags, and it's cherry print. So I thought that was cute. Next is another Lulu's piece. This one is a embroidered romper. So I'm guessing like $28 on this one. Which is, okay, my Goodwills have been pricing up Lulu, which is kind of annoying. I think I did pay up for this one, but it's a consistent seller for me. And by pay up, I mean like $2 more. But still, okay. Next is a Madewell piece, and I'm pretty sure I actually saw this at Nordstrom this past season, and I was interested in purchasing. Oh no, there's a mark on it. It's gone. I was interested in purchasing it for myself. Oh, you might tell, like, I have a dog, so there's a lot of dog hair and stuff in from my room. Um, it gets lint rolled before it's photographed and shipped out. Let's see when this is from. Holiday 2017. So it wasn't, this wasn't the one I saw at Nordstrom this past winter, but I don't know, stars are doing pretty well right now. Next up is this fence top. And I have been kind of categorizing with Vince with Joie and kind of like some pieces I pick up and some people, I, some pieces I don't pick up. It retails for a lot, but honestly the resale value just isn't always there. Maybe I should have left this behind. Ooh, okay. So at one of the Goodwills we were at, someone donated like their nice three people pieces and the Goodwill didn't have them priced up, so that was exciting. So, oh shit, back to what I was saying, the Goodwill did not have their free people priced up to like $10 and $15, which was very nice, just regular price shirt, and so honestly, I don't know if this is, this is probably like a tunic, but uh, you know the free people tag. So I was happy to find this piece, did I, I think I found this piece, my sister found some as well, actually, she might have found this piece. Let's see, what's this? Oh, another Lulu's piece, what? A lot of Lulu's coming to my closet. This one's just basic black with bow tie sleeves off the shoulder. This pile is getting huge. Okay, then I got this. My Goodwills have been pricing up Zara, which is annoying because I like selling Zara, but it doesn't sell for a whole lot. So I did pay up a few dollars for this piece, but it's new with tags. And it's a maxi dress, or midi dress. I don't know, but I thought the print was cute. Does it have the price? Yeah, does your Goodwill do this? My Goodwill rips off the retail price too often, so. I have to do some research to see how much it retailed for. Hopefully I can find a stock photo. Next up is this boo 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 Banana Republic maxi dress. Banana Republic is not normally a brand I would be picking up because my Goodwill overprices it. But this piece was not priced up and it's an extra large and it is 100% silk, I am pretty sure. And it's very beautiful, it has this button down detail. So I think that was a great pickup. And does Banana Republic, I think Banana Republic has a style number, right? At least date tags, when's this from? Oh yeah, there's a name. Fall 2016, which honestly it looks a little bit newer than that, so. It's not gonna be fun to photograph though. I hate photographing maxi dresses. Actually, I just hate photographing dresses in general because I do flat lays. Next, I picked up this Pure Bar tank, and it is new with tags. Pure Bar is one of those workout classes you can do, and people like to wear. There's stuff. Can you hear my mom? She keeps yelling. Anyway, 
Um, probably like twenty dollars on that. In. In. Yes. The next dress my sister actually found, and it is super fun. It is this sequin BB Dakota dress. And BB Dakota sold at Nordstrom and probably some other stores. I personally have a BB Dakota dress in my closet that I've had listed for a while now, and there's not a whole lot of interest on it. But I just thought this one was so fun. I'm excited about this next piece. This is from the brand Cameo, I think. It is new with tags for $159. And it is sold on Revolve. When I was looking up comps to see what the brand was, I found the exact same dress sold for like $60. Oh, here's another one of the free people pieces that were not priced up. This one is actually new with tags. This can be hard to show. It's a red wrap dress. And new with tags. Price cut off. Goodwill. Thanks. Ooh. Okay, so my sister and I went to Plato's Closet too. So we went to four Goodwills. Or we went to Goodwill. Three different Goodwills. One twice. And the Plato's Closet. It was a big thrifting weekend. I picked this up for myself. Okay. I'm not a Capricorn. It's from Zara. So, ugh. I'm not a Capricorn, but I mean, come on, it's glittery. I'm worried that these gems are going to fall off in the wash. One of them already has fallen off, but it's glittery. <laughs> I paid too much for it. Okay, next up I have these... Melissa McCarthy for seven jeans, which I've never actually sold before and they're boot cut But I wanted to try the brand out like the Melissa McCarthy line because I've heard it does well We're in my last pile So I picked up these boys Vineyard Vines shorts Which honestly I've been not picking up a whole lot of Vineyard Vines recently But they're American flag whales and I figured 4th of July is coming up also summer should get these listed now Okay, so I'd never heard of this brand before, but when I looked up, it's really, it's a trendy piece. It needs to be steamed. It's kind of wrinkly, but I mean, that's totally like, it's a pretty trendy piece. And so I looked up the brand. The tag didn't look like anything, like it looked pretty cheap, but it came up as it's sold on Revolve. So hopefully I can find a stock photo or just some comps or something. It's cute. Not my size. Else I'd be keeping it probably and never wearing it, just like all my other dresses. Okay. I picked up this Zara top. Boho embroidered. Just oh, $25 probably. Actually, I'll list a little higher. Probably will sell for $25. Maybe sell for less. I don't know why I'm saying this. Okay. Another free people price that... Another free people piece that was not priced up. This one is obviously a little bit older, but I thought it was cute for summer. We'll see. My water's getting covered. Okay, I thought I had two of these. I think I do. Honestly, you'll probably end up seeing another one of these. So here's just, you know, American Eagle. Oops. American Eagle Distressed High Rise Shorts and these aren't like, I'll probably profit like 12 to $15 on these, but they sell really fast in the summer. The distressed ones that are high rise, even if they're like a size zero, which I don't think these ones are, but I'd recommend picking up the American Eagle distressed high rise shorts in the summer. Okay. Next up, I'm kind of annoyed by this because it's a pajama set, a Hannah Anderson pajama set, but they had it priced like each piece separately they didn't price it as a set even though they were together anyway here's the tag and the print it's just a star wars print so honestly i probably paid too much for these since they were individually priced but i'm hoping to get over 25 dollars since i have both pieces okay next up is another mason scotch piece this one is cheetah print probably would have been better in the winter but I picked it up anyway. 
I sell stuff year-round. I don't do seasonal, really. Ooh, okay, next up is a brand I've never found before. This is my first time finding it. Here's the piece. It is Neon Buddha. Honestly, when I was looking at comps, I thought it did better than the comps I saw, but I still picked it up. It's a new brand to me. I wasn't really thinking when I picked this up from Goodwill. It's a Brandy Melville top. Again, I like picking up Brandy Melville and selling it, but only if it's cheap enough. And this was just priced as a regular shirt, so honestly, I paid a little too much for it. So then I found a bunch of Brandy Mel Brandy Melville tops when I was at another Goodwill. So I just picked up one of them to do a bundle. So just to get a little bit of a higher price. Okay, here's another one of the Free People pieces that were not priced up. And this one is a little more basic. It's just a flannel. Which honestly, I don't think their flannels do that well because how many do I have? I have two in my closet right now. Maybe even that don't have much interest so maybe I should have left this behind but it's hard like do you have a hard time leaving free people behind when it's not priced up and it's not flawed because I do again here is another free people price free people piece is this a tunic dress I don't know it's cute I like it wouldn't wear it though not my style Okay, so this piece I picked up when I was at Plato's Closet to resell. It's Eva Franco, which it sold at Anthropology, and it's a very pretty, sparkly midi skirt. I paid off a little bit for it, actually, like twice as much as I'd normally pay for a skirt. But it's really cute. Okay, then this is the other piece I picked up to resell at Plato's. I don't know if you're going to be able to see it, but it's Tula La Rosa, sold on Revolve, and it's a little embroidered romper, gives me like 70s vibes, gotta get that up for summer, if the sun would come out so I could photograph. <gasps> Is it coming out? Let's finish up this haul. What's this? Okay, I think this is the last Free People piece, and... Okay, let me show it to you first. It's one of the Free People movement pieces. Or, oh no, it's not movement. It's Intimately Free People. It's an interesting piece. I like the color. Okay. Next piece is this. I don't know how to say it. L'Agence. Um, silk button down. And this is a pretty expensive brand. I found a pair of jeans, well, at the same thrift store, so maybe from the same person. But they were size 24, and they were like a printed pattern, and they were priced up, and I just left. I was like, honestly, they're not going to sell. Okay. Next up is this Zara piece, which my sister found. Zara. Whoa. And I think it's a wrap dress. I paid a dress price for it. It's kind of hard to see. I haven't been able to figure out how it wraps yet, though. But it's a really pretty print. Good for summer. Or even fall. Probably more for fall. Ooh, okay. I saved my favorite for last. Oh, here we go. <laughs> I knew I had another pair. High Rise American Eagle Distressed Shorts. Again, $15, $12, $15 profit. Then I picked this up. Honestly, I wouldn't normally pick up this piece, but it was half off. It's free people. And I think the style tag is cut out, which is a bummer. Oh, oh, it's not. Okay, so if you did not know, this one, I'll show you a different piece because this one doesn't really have it. Anyway, free people. Let's see. Okay, yeah, this one is it. So if you didn't know on Free People, there is a style number, which really helps with Free People pieces because some of them are hard to photograph. So let's see if you can see this. Okay, it's gonna say GB or OB and then a number. And if you just put that into Google, you should get the name and stock photo for it. My sister, my sister's fun to thrift with. 
but if she thinks something is ugly, she just won't show me it. And so she passed up this anthropology Molina Sayers dress. So luckily, I went through the rack after her, and she was just like, oh, I didn't show you because it was ugly. It's like, I don't know, I think it's cute. Small size though. Second to last piece. I really like this. Again, it's a new Urban Outfitters tag. So as I was saying, new Urban Outfitters tag. And it's a pretty nudie dress with a slit down the front. Oh my gosh. Okay, and my last piece, which I don't know why this is my favorite piece because I would never wear it. It's very on trend though. Okay, it's this, I don't know if I can figure it out, keepsake dress. It gives me like early 2000s vibes, but it's new with tags and these dresses retail like, oh, it has the name on it, which is nice. So I'll find a stock photo. These dresses retail from like 150 to like 200 and something dollars. I think it's an Australian brand. Are you guys ready to see what we just hauled? Oh, focus. All right, guys, that was my huge weekend thrift haul where I spent over $350. Um, right now I'm probably gonna get some of this photographed hopefully if the sun comes out. Thanks for watching.